my dad, Mark, he was, he was awesome. He was my best friend. <laughs> he was smart, strong. We were just a middle class family. My dad was an HVAC technician. He also did some pipe fitting, welding, just different trades. My mom's done a bunch of different things. She's worked at the schools here in Albuquerque a couple of times doing different things like once as a cafeteria lady, once as an assistant teacher. While he was working we had health insurance coverage. Unfortunately we did not get life insurance. When I was about 14 years old is when my dad started getting sick. We didn't find out until like a year later that he was a diabetic. So, I mean, he was like really sick, couldn't work much, and since he was the main provider of our household, it was really hard. One day, he went to go fix the air conditioner on my grandpa's roof, and I guess that day he, uh, had, a, he had a stroke. Me and my mom were working, and I was, um, I would get up in the morning, give my dad his medication, drive my mom to work, uh, come back, take my brother to school, <laughs> make sure my dad was okay, and then go to work myself. My dad um, had his strokes in April of 2008, and then he was just really sick and got worse and worse. My dad was 45 when he passed away. Right after my dad passed away, my mom had stopped working. She was going through a really hard time, so. I have some medical issues of my own, so it just, that and the depression took its toll. When my dad passed, my sister Chez, she kind of took the place of my dad. It got to a point where like we didn't really own much. <laughs> like everything that I owned fit in a backpack and we just moved around and we wound up living at, um, at this motel. I started at Target after my dad passed away to help pay the bills. I went in at 4 a.m. and unloaded the truck and stacked pallets. So it was pretty physical first thing in the morning. And then I worked at Sonic as a car hop because you make tips, so you have money every day. And so that really helped uh, with like groceries and stuff like that. She got us, my son and I, Chesare, out of the hotel into an apartment. So she basically worked and gave her entire checkup to get us food, a place to live. She put her life on hold for us. If my dad had had life insurance, it would have been less responsibility and less strain for me personally. Um, I know it would have been easier for my family in general. You know life insurance is out there, you know it is, and you know that you can go get it. But it, we all think we're invincible. We all think, you know, we're gonna live this perfectly happy life. I was gonna have the white picket fence. My husband and I were gonna grow old and toothless together and we weren't gonna have to worry about any of this. Guess what? It can happen to you. It can happen to anybody. And it's gonna hit you from left field and it's devastating.